I want to start this video off by saying I am not a magician that knows everything about French. I am a learner just like yourself and I'm learning new things about the language every day and always practicing to get better. This video will be all about how I personally try to become more fluent in the language on a daily basis. My approach, my routines, and my learning strategies. When it comes down to it, your proficiency in a language boils down to how well you can read, listen, write, and speak in the language, as well as your sociolinguistic competence, which basically means how natural you can sound in various social situations, you know, differentiating between formal and informal language. And I think people overcomplicate how to improve your language abilities. The way I see it is this you get better at reading by reading more. You get better at listening by listening more. You get better at writing by actually writing. Granted that you're getting corrected by natives and reflecting on aspects of written French you don't fully understand. And you get better at speaking by actually speaking more, by getting your jaw muscles and tongue used to producing certain sounds. And of course, there is some transfer, as in reading a lot will help improve your writing, spelling, grammar. And listening a lot can help improve your speaking a little bit. But ultimately, if you want to get better at a specific skill, you have to do it a lot. You can be better at one skill over another if you do it more often. This is why I try and take a balanced approach to my language learning routine. A little bit of reading, listening, writing, and speaking in French every day can go a long way in helping you progress in a multi-dimensional way. So for the next portion of the video, I'll discuss how I practice all four major skills as well as some personal learning strategies, tools, resources, and apps I use to help me in my language learning journey. I want to begin by quoting Stephen Krashen, a famous second language researcher, who says we learn languages in only one way. And the secret is in three words. We all learn languages through comprehensible, compelling input that is reading and listening to content in our target language, which is French, that one, we can understand, and two, content that we find super interesting. So interesting that you aren't even paying attention to what language it's in, you're just super invested in the message or the story. This is the basis of how I go about my learning routine. To quote Stephen Krashen directly, whenever you look at a case of someone who has done well in a language, there has been massive comprehensible input, no exceptions. So we'll start with the first skill, which is reading. Now you might say, okay, let's go, recommend me some good French books that I should be reading to learn the language. And yes, I can be cliche and recommend novels such as Le Petit Prince, L'Étranger, The Count of Monte Cristo, or another French classic, but if you don't find those interesting, you are not going to enjoy the process and you're going to find your routine boring, which is the last thing you want if you want it to be sustainable. The only person who can decide what's worth reading is you. Ask yourself what genres do you like? What level are you at? What interests you? And what do you truly like reading? Me personally, I'm a big fan of classic American literature. So what I do is I read the translations of them in French so I get awesome storylines and learn French in the process. I'm also personally really into horror movies and spooky stories, so at some point every day, I read posts from native French speakers on Let's Not Meet FR, a subreddit where creepy encounters are posted on a daily basis. What's interesting reading these is that you'll notice that even French natives make mistakes here and there, especially with homophones, words that sound the same but are spelt differently, which is very reassuring to learners being afraid of making mistakes. I also joined a few other subreddits where the dominant language is French to get a little more reading in from time to time. Lastly, I read French subtitles on movies and shows I watch on Netflix. Netflix is awesome because most shows, even with original English audio, have French subtitles. I am guilty for watching a lot of Netflix, However, what makes me feel less guilty about it is while watching a show, I can pick up some new French words by turning on subtitles. Speaking of Netflix, if you're into crime shows, I recommend watching the French shows The Chalet, 
Criminal France, The Break, and The Forest. If you're into comedy, I highly recommend Family Business, which is one of the funniest shows I've ever watched, as well as the movie Nothing to Hide. If you're into drama, I recommend watching Gone for Good. Uh, My eyes were very glued to the screen watching this French series, as well as Mythomaniac. And if you're into the actor Omar Sy, he's a very good actor, I recommend watching Lupin, which I'm sure you've all heard of before, as well as the movie The Untouchables. Next up is listening, and my main source of listening practice is listening to francophone rap music, something I do quite a bit on a daily basis. I even made a video tribute of how much it has helped me improve my French. I also listen to French podcasts and watch movies and shows on Netflix. If I really want to push myself to practice my listening and focus specifically on improving my listening, I will challenge myself to watch French Netflix without subtitles. Sometimes it's challenging, especially with French teenagers who speak 100 miles per hour and use a lot of slang, but it's definitely worth it if you want to be comfortable having any type of conversation with any kind of native speaker. When you read, write, and speak, you can't really multitask, but with listening, you 100% can. And this is why it's not hard to listen to your target language consistently all the time. You can definitely multitask while listening to music or podcasts. I can walk my dog, I can mow the lawn, I can go on long drives, and I can work out while listening to French content at the same time and really absorb the language. Next up is writing, and now we're getting into actually producing the language and not just understanding and learning it. The two main resources I use for writing are Reddit subreddit called WriteStreak, as well as Tandem, and I honestly don't know how Tandem is free to use since it's such an amazing app for language learners. WriteStreak is a subreddit where you write whatever you want, could be about your day, your pets, your goals in life, whatever you want, and then you get corrected by a native French speaker. WriteStreak is a small but very active community, so you can expect to be corrected almost every time, and they even post topics of the day if you're not sure what to write about. I used to use this a lot more back in the day, I don't really anymore, but I learned so much from writing more often, so shout out to all those natives that helped me along the way. Nowadays, I use Tandem, which is a language exchange app, to practice my writing. I found WriteStreak ate up more of my time, and I eventually ran out of topics I actually wanted to write about. The beauty of Tandem is that I can easily send dozens of text messages to native speakers every day and get corrected if needed. The fourth and final skill is speaking, and guess what I use to help me improve my speaking skills? Tandem. I know there is a paid version for Tandem, however, the free version gives you everything you really need. They really don't restrict you from much, so I'm not even sure what the paid version would give you. Anyways, I practice speaking on Tandem by sending voice messages to native speakers on a daily basis. This is awesome because speaking is the most anxiety-producing skill to practice, and with voice messages, you can redo them and really practice your word use and your pronunciation without the pressure of a spontaneous conversation. However, I also do voice or video calls as often as I can. And yes, they're scary at first, but super important to becoming a confident speaker. My advice is to find language partners who have a pretty good level in your native language, So when you're really stuck and blanking out on a French word, they can help you out and it ends up being a no-pressure learning experience. There are a lot of aspects to consider and practice when speaking French as a foreign language, making it the hardest skill to master, in my opinion. For example, how speech is shortened in everyday conversation, for example, dropping the ne in negative sentences, or dropping the il in il y a, Vowels, especially nasal vowels. The darn R sound. Now, this one is interesting because growing up in Canada, having a lot of older Francophone teachers from all over the place, I was actually taught to roll my R's, which you have probably noticed in my older videos. I believe it's the old French way of pronouncing it, 
but still standard in some North American dialects. However, in my newer videos, I've been really trying to nail down the more standard French R, which, let me tell you, has been tough, but a fun challenge at the same time. As well as intonation and liaison, which is something I have not mastered yet, but I think are important to speaking the language well. Next, I'll go over some apps that I use to help me learn French. No surprise here, I use word reference to look up words, and it's amazing because it gives you context, because the same word can mean a few different things, as well as some example sentences. And I also use reverso context for those longer phrases that you can't really search up in word reference. For example, get used to or stuck in traffic. Finally, I'll go over some learning strategies that I use to help me learn French. As far as learning strategies go, my favorite personal strategy is whenever I see an object, I ask myself, do I know the word for that in French? Or if I'm talking in English, I'll ask myself, do I know how to say that phrase in French? And this has helped me learn a ton of French and helped me learn words and phrases I would actually use in conversation. If the answer to either of my questions was no, I would immediately search it up on word reference or reversal context and then write it down in my personal English-French dictionary in the notes section on my phone. The words usually stick with me, but whenever I have free time, I make sure to review my list of translations. Also, if I ever blank out on a word when talking to a native speaker of French, I make sure to write that word down in my personal dictionary as well. Next, I believe it's very important to stay curious as a motivated learner. Whenever you have a question about the language, whether it's pronoun placement or another grammar rule you don't fully comprehend, search it up. There is so much information online nowadays that if you really put your mind to it, you can learn anything you want. But at the same time, it's important to not be super hard on yourself. Be proud of how much you can already do in the language. In other words, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. So now I'll go over my French learning routine, what it looks like on a typical day. So when I wake up at 6 a.m., the first thing I usually do is work out. So what I'll do is I'll listen to French rap music while working out. And then at 7.15, while I'm eating breakfast, I'll read one to two Reddit posts in French. And then I'm stuck at work, so I can't really do much. But while I'm on break or on lunch, I'll send some texts to French natives on tandem. And then from 4 to 5, I have to walk my dog, so... While walking my dog, I'll listen to a French podcast or listen to music or send some voice messages to French natives on tandem. And then in the evening, it's always different, but some examples of things I do are uh, I'll read a chapter of a French book. I'll have either a voice video call with a French speaker on tandem or I'll just watch Netflix in French. So that's it, but before you go, I want to ask you all, what do you personally do to learn and practice French? Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned something from my personal language learning routine that you can implement into yours. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see future content. Also, no matter your French level, feel free to follow me on any of my social media platforms for vocab, memes, useful expressions, and more.